<laughs> Hello. <coughs> Hello, everyone. Hold on. Hello, everybody. It is I, Iron Mouse. Hello. Connor, thank you for the raid. Hello. Hello, everyone. I am back from the dead. I was gone. <coughs> I was dead for three days. <coughs> Huh. Excuse me. Hello. Hello, everyone. I'm alive. You are muted. I'm not muted. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> now the rain alert goes in. What the heck? I am live. Yes, I am alive. Yes, yes, yes. Wait, I have to put the 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 tweet. I had to do the tweet. Hold on. I had to do the tweet. Hello, everyone. I'm sorry. Matane, what the fuck? Thank you so much for the gifted subs. Hello, everybody. I'm sorry that I have not been able to stream. I missed three days of streaming due to the fact that I've been sick and horrendously stressed to the point where it was exacerbating my sickness. So I had to rest in bed because the stress was unimaginable. I felt like I was being crushed by a weight of stress. <laughs> but I'm feeling better today. Uh, I still can't talk about what was stressing me, but I'm hoping that I can soon. Rest as much as you... Thank you. Uh, but, but no more resting. No more resting! It's time to play! Snap! <laughs> Snazzhole? <laughs> Snazzhole! Thank you for the 10 gifted subs. Wow, snaz hole. That's what... <laughs> I was gonna make a... That's what they call me in college joke, but I didn't go to college. One and two, uh, somebody would have clipped and be like, Iron Mouse was called snaz hole in college? Question mark? And now somebody's probably gonna clip this right now. And this is why I'm gonna say, fuck you if you clip this. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> That's what they used to call Giga in college. <laughs> ah! Super Chicken, thank you so much for the gifted subs. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much. Clippers, I shit myself. Man, listen, there's some good clippers out there, but some of them are just like, bro. Bro, come on, man. The clickbait is getting tiring. Please, can you please stop? Can you please stop? <laughs> no, listen, listen. A lot of times, the clipping is great. Clippers are good, because it's like, yeah, they, they get your shit out there and, and stuff. But sometimes, some clippers, like... They're just like, I don't know. They, they I don't know what they're thinking. <laughs> I don't know what they're thinking. I don't know what they're thinking. Anyway, they need, yeah, they need that drama, don't they? No, but most, most of the clippers that I've seen have, have, have been pretty nice. They've been pretty nice. Get your bag, sis, but don't be a dick. Get your bag, sis, but don't be a dick. You know what I mean? The Clipper Razzi? Oh, God, wait a minute. Is that kind of like... Oh, God, is that kind of like paparazzi? Twenty twenty four is weird. You know what's funny? Oh my god. Funny that you should... You know what I was watching? I was watching... I found this new YouTube channel. A new YouTube channel. Okay? I have... I found this... I found this, uh... New YouTube channel. If you guys want to check it out. He's pretty cool. His name is Hugo Henderson. His name is Hugo Henderson. And he's been doing recaps of every single VMAs since like 1994. And I've been watching them all. And it's fucking crazy. Watching him go through every single VMA since 1994. And seeing all this crazy shit that they used to get up to. Man, people were crazy in the 90s. They were freaking insane. What's a VMA? <laughs> Gather 
around, everyone. Gather around. Hey, Emma, bonjour. <laughs> I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope Booby reads your comment. Booby, read Emma's comment now. Guys. Bonjour, mouse. Oh, bonjour. Just finished watching Connor struggle and choke <laughs> at a children's game. Bro was really putting that one brain cell on overdrive. Bro. I go, I've been clipped before and it's weird, low. We gotta go to bed since it's 3 a.m. here. Good night. Good night, everyone, three. Good night. Good night. Bonjour and good night. <clears throat> Listen. Gather round, everyone. Gather round. Once upon. Did you just see that? What the fuck? Did you see that? You didn't see that, did you? Did you see that? That glitch? It was like my face slid off my head. What the fuck? Did you didn't see that? You you guys didn't see that, did you? I can't do it again. It was a glitch. Listen. Listen good and listen well. Ooh. Once upon a time, there was something called the VMAs. They were called the Video Music Awards. And they aired on a television network called MTV. Which stood for Music Television. And even though it was called MTV, they never played any music videos at all. Ooh. And that's the story of MTV and the VMAs. They had an award show called the Video Music Awards where celebrities would go and do crazy shit. And fight. And for some reason, the 90s was full of people insulting everybody and being mean to everybody and asking shocking questions so that celebrities can talk shit about other celebrities. And it was really weird and shady. Ooh. Only one winner. <laughs> Bro was crazy. They were like, so Madonna, what do you think about uh they were like, Madonna, what do you think about Mariah Carey's face? What's her favorite part of her your favorite part of her face? And she was like, My favorite part is the one that I could see because it's always being covered by damn hair. And I'm like, what the fuck? Holy shit. That's so fucked up. In an interview? They're asking you these things? And you're answering them? Holy shit! They asked her about the president's wiener? They asked- they asked her so many things! Bro, they asked him so many things! So if you're interested, watch Hugo Henderson. He does recaps of all the MTV music. Not only that, he's been putting on Spotify playlists from every single video and nominee. That was from every single person who won and everybody who was nominated from each year into a playlist on Spotify. And I've been listening to some 90s music and I'm like, holy shit. Some of this shit is crazy. The 90s were crazy. <clears throat> yeah, they had some pretty crazy unfiltered... Dude, some of those interviews were so wild. I was just like, holy shit. What the? They were asking so many invasive questions. And a lot of things to get you to like talk shit about other people. Like, it was, it was, it was really crazy. Also, they, he showed this moment where TLC, this girl group called TLC, they went out on to accept an award and they read the, their thanks. They had like, thank you notes and they thanked people and they wrote all the names on a roll of toilet paper as if to like talk like i was like oh my god the the shade the shade the shade of it all the shade of it all the shade of it all
Carter just finished a 13 hour stream and he was missing you. I don't think he was missing me. I think you're fucking lying. I think you're a freaking liar. <laughs> I think you're a liar. I think he was having a great time. Playing his game. Playing the Mario game. He was crying. <laughs> he was crying about Mario. Dude, imagine playing Mario for 12, for like 11, 12 hours. Couldn't be me. No, thank you. Just emotional support? Wait a minute, is that why he messaged me like at 5 a.m.? <laughs> uh, I was sleeping. <laughs> Oops. <clears throat> Uh-oh. The BGM is interesting. Who oh, funny you should ask about the BGM. The BGM that we're listening to is called Malambo Number no. 1 and it is by Ima Sumak, an incredible incredibly talented singer. She was also known as uh, the singing, the, the bird singer, the bird songstress, because she could hit notes that were higher than the tweets of some birds. Hello, Germany! Guten Tag! Did she break? Can you break? Is that real or is that a myth? I don't think that's real, being able to break glass. Can you break glass? With your singing voice. If a singer sings loudly enough, the vibrations can cause glass to vibrate so hard that the glass shatters under the strain. I don't think that that's true. Yeah, but... Let me ask you a question. Like, it has to be like super thin glass. Like, I'm talking like a crystal champ champagne glass, you know? By Natus, thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs. A crystal champagne glass. You know? Like, one that's totally, like, long and skinny and, and super, super slim. Opera singing will break a wine glass. Look it up. <laughs> okay, but do you have to, like, they don't tell you that, oh, just letting you know, you have to be, like, right in front of the glass. Singing at the damn fucking glass. Like, you can't be, it can't be, like, super far away from, like, from the end of the, try it? Okay, be right back. Let me go. I'm just kidding. I don't have a wine glass. <laughs> Be right, let me go get a wine glass. I'm going to Walmart. Did you guys see? Have you guys seen that stupid? Can somebody? I need somebody to talk to. Okay. My sister calls me and she's like, what the fuck is the deal with those Stanley cups? And I'm like, I don't fucking know. And then I see a video on the internet of some woman waiting for a Stanley cup. At like 3 a.m. in front of Target. And I'm like, what the fuck? It's just the fucking cup? No, no, no. A Stan Lee cup. Have any of you guys been... Charlie? Wait, Charlie. Wait, I saw Charlie's video about it too. It's just the... Oh, he made a video about shit. I, I gotta watch it. I like watching his videos. I missed the Stan Lee cup video? Fuck. Did he get one? Did you get a Stanley Cup video? I just want to know, like, what, what are those cups made of that make women go crazy? <clears throat> I had a Stanley Cup before they were popular. Oh. FOMO marketing. Well, let me tell you something, okay? I perused. I perused around water talk. Okay? 
I perused. I perused water talk. Some of you may be asking, what the fuck is water talk? Guys, if you're on TikTok long enough, you get to know that hashtags are their own social groups. There is a there is a hashtag called hashtag water talk. You go on it, and it's all about these ladies talking about water. They talk about their flavored water. They talk about their bottles of water. They talk about the cups. It's everything fucking water, and it is the craziest shit I've ever seen. <clears throat> you got... You got a uh, book talk, which is where people talk about books. Water talk. You got you got other things that are very strange. <coughs> is the water wet? That's what I want to know. Is water wet? Uh, Pete messaged me because he wants to know if he was asking me if I play Monster Hunter, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm a I'm a hunting horn main. Just letting you know, I want to try to get a. Uh, I think he wants to play the new Monster. Man, what's up with everybody playing Monster Hunter now? Is it is there like a new DLC or something? Did something else come out? Did something new come out? Asmund played Monster Hunter. Is that is that it? Is is it because Asmund Gold played it? Oh, new game is coming soon. Monster Hunter Wild. Wait, what? Monster Hunter Wild. When is it releasing? Twenty twenty five. What the fuck? Come on, guys. Ugh. <clears throat> Two years? Come on! Twenty, But we're in 2024! Like, don't tell me this now! Why don't you just tell me when 2025 starts that it's coming in 2025? <coughs> well, guess I have to... Wait! Monster Hunter World 2? Is this real? Wait, is Wilds 2 or is it another 2? Wait, I'm so confused. Oh, wild is two. Okay. 2025. Fuck. Oh, well. It's Monster Hunter 6. Oh! <clears throat> I've, I've only listed. I've only played Monster Hunter World and I've only played Monster Hunter Rise. And I had a great time playing both of them. And I love the hunting horn. I think Zen played. Yeah! I know she played yesterday. I definitely want to play. Uh, I think. Some of the girls want to play too, so... But that reminds me, um... I think I'm gonna have to, like, restart World all over again. Because <sighs> my data didn't save, and I have to restart everything all over again. My cloud save. I got a new computer. <clears throat> the last time I played, it was, it was in my old computer. What is this song? Oh! Funny you should ask. This is a song called That Laughing Track. By Crookers. The same people that did Day and Night. Crookers Remakes. And it's just a song of people laughing. It's just some person just laughing maniacally. Yeah, not this laughing track. It's called that laughing track. I'm just letting you know. Oh, shit. Mm. 
Beetle. Hey, hello. Hello, I took a three-day break. I'm sorry. I haven't been around. <laughs> Rod Long, how's it going? I, I took a three-day break. I haven't been around. I've been sick and dealing with a lot of stuff. As you know, everyone, my birthday is coming. <clears throat> Yeah, I've been playing Minecraft offline because I've been super stressed to the point where... Dude, okay, I'm just going to be honest with you guys. I got so stressed that I started having chest pains and and heart palpitations. That's how stressed I got. Where it was like, Connor had to like, force me not to stream. It was like, you better not freaking stream! And I'm like, okay. Uh. It was pretty bad, man. It got really bad. It got really bad. <clears throat> I'm good now. I'm fine now. I'm fine now. My heart was just crazy. I was getting literal chest pains and palpitations. Like, my heart was fluttering. I don't know if y'all have ever experienced this. Have you guys ever experienced this feeling where it's like you feel like your heart f is fluttering? Almost like you have a butterfly or something. And it feels like the, 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 the liquid in there is like draining. I don't know. I can only explain it like it feels like the liquid is like draining out and it feels like empty and you feel like the fluttering and then you're like and then it makes you like lose your breath and you're like <gasps> So yeah, that was happening to me like that was happening to me all day uh on Friday All day on Friday The whole day. The whole entire day on Friday. And on and, and half of Saturday. Because on Saturday I was like, okay, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to stream on Saturday. And then I was like, Oh never mind, I can't. Ugh. Never mind, I can't. Ugh. Heart pops my favorite feeling. <laughs> oh boy, my favorite feeling in the world. Feeling like my heart is gonna fly out of my mouth. Could be a panic attack? I was probably having multiple panic attacks a day. Let's just be real. Hopefully it dies down by the B day. Actually, yesterday I yesterday everything came to a close and a lot of things got resolved. So I feel so much better. And now today I woke up and I feel like <sighs> Arg the vagueness. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I wish I could, I wish I could talk about it. Project stress. You know what? Let's let's call it project stress. But you know what? Everything everything magically got resolved. Everything got magically fixed. And I'll talk more about it once I can talk about the project that I was working on. Can we now can we call it project excitement? Yes, we can call it project excitement. So project excitement is you know what? Uh anybody uh, anybody who's watching, I'm sorry, but it's like if I don't if I don't mention project excitement, I I I will die. So uh of stress. <laughs> so I mentioned project excitement, okay? So don't get mad at me. Yeah, so uh, project excitement is still uh, happening, but there were there were a lot of issues with project excitement where I thought that project excitement wasn't gonna be very wasn't gonna happen. But project excitement is 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 back on the menu. Jeez, you sure are talking it up. It better be good. Well, okay. Bo <laughs> Was your name Bogan Coder? Okay, Bogan Coder. Random green, green colored username in my chat. 
I didn't know you were a project critic. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just joking. It, 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 I think I think it'll be good. I think it'll be good. I think it'll be good. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm just joking, bro. Project Booger? Ew! Yucca! Anyway, as you guys know, it's my birthday. Uh, today is the first day of my birthday week. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm hereby announcing it. My birthday fucking week. <laughs> it's my birthday week, bros. Happy birthday to me. After all the stress that I've been through. I deserve a birthday week. <laughs> you might be wondering, Mouse, what are we doing this week? <laughs> Thank you for the dodo. Thank you. Happy birthday. Thank you, Alex. Thank you. You might be wondering, Mouse, what are we doing for your birthday? Well, I'll tell you. Uh, Connor's going to take us somewhere, but I don't think he's taking us this week. Uh, it has to be pushed to later, I, either later on in the month. Uh, but that's okay. That's okay. I'm just happy he's taking us somewhere. Okay. Dr. K collab. Y'all keep asking that. I don't know. I have to wait because he had to reschedule with me. Y'all keep wanting me to go on Dr. K so bad. What the fuck? You want to watch me cry? You freaks. Want to watch me cry? Cinema Roll Store, unfortunately, I wish he could take us to Cinema Roll Store, but he doesn't think that they'll let us film in the Cinema Roll Store. So, um, unfortunately, there will be no footage of that, but... <laughs> there'll be no footage of the Cinema Rolls, but once I get them, uh, I'll take pictures and I'll show them to you. <laughs> It's, it's a special pop-up shop that's open on my birthday. It's special. <laughs> Is there... A, there's a Cinema Roll Cafe, right? I don't know if they'll, they'll allow filming at the Cinema Roll Cafe. A lot... Listen, a lot of things have changed, okay? Uh, there's a lot of, um... <sighs> Y'all know, all those crazy-ass motherfuckers that went to Japan and did stupid shit kind of fucked it up for everybody. People that don't know how to act when they go to, a, when they go to another country. It's like, just because y'all think that you can be a dick in America, that doesn't mean you can be a dick anywhere else, you know what I mean? But just, but not even that. Y'all think you can be a dick over here too? You can't. You just can't. Don't be a dick. Just, how about not being a dick? How about not being stupid? How about stop being dumb? Stop being bozo. Hello, new chatter. Happy New Year. You asked too much for... Eh. What was I saying? Uh, oh yeah. So we don't know. Uh, we can't. We can't really like film the cinema roll store. But this week, uh, Tara, Tara, thank you so much for the gifted subs. I really wanted to do a... Happy birthday uh, week, guy on Mosa. Let's go hype. Thank you, thank you. I wanted to do a, a birthday party in VR chat for me on my birthday. But I think I might be too tired. So I'm going to do a VR chat birthday party on Saturday. So we'll we'll do VR chat on Saturday. VR chat on Saturday. Uh, I'm going to invite basically everybody I know. If they want to stop by, they can. It's no big deal. No, no pressure. For everybody to come and stop by, you know? Are we still doing the 24-hour stream? Depending on how I feel on Saturday. 
I will stream 24 hours into Sunday. If I feel okay to do a 24 hour stream, I will. Does Mouse have a throne? No, I don't. I don't have a throne. I, 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 I don't have a throne. I, I, I feel kind of, um, mm, how to, how to say. I don't feel comfortable, like, putting a wish list out. And, like, be like, people get, get stuff for me. When it's like, I can get it for myself. But if you guys ever do send me gifts, like, I, I really do appreciate it. I get people sending me gifts from conventions and stuff, and I appreciate every single gift. But I just I just feel uh weird, like, putting a list out there and be like, Hey, guys, buy me stuff, you know? Not, not... I, I know that there's people that do it, and that's fine, but for me, I, I'm not, you know, I could... I'm okay. I'm okay, I'm okay. Good evening, mouse. The best gift you can give me is your time. So, thank you for being here. I appreciate it. It's the greatest gift that you can give me. That's the best gift you can give me for your, for my birthday. Sometime. And, pl <laughs> and plasma. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, well, I th when I was when I was first starting out with VTubing and like I had like you know like a hundred people like two hundred people you know when I was first starting off on the Twitches I had I had like a gift a gift list a wish list there was like a wish list thing going on and I had a and I had like a wish list thing and I had a bunch of art supplies on there and people were so sweet people were so sweet of buying me my art supplies it was so sweet and and I was just like oh my god thank you and People would get me my art supplies, and it was just like, it was empty every, I, oh my god, it was crazy. Every day, I would add art supplies, and it would get empty by the end of the day. And I'm like, what the fuck? Who keeps buying all this shit? And I was, I appreciate it so much. Thank you very, very much. A lot of those art supplies that were gifted to me, and then I, I had to get some new audio equipment and stuff, and I'm still using it to this day. And the art supplies, like, I used it to, to make all those uh, paintings and stuff that I showed on stream the other day that I don't really show on the internet much because, uh, people get concerned for me because they don't understand my art, but it's fine. It's okay. Maybe one day people will understand. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I, sh I posted my art on... I I've said the story so many times, but I posted my art on Twitter and, and it got like... I got, like, reported, and I started getting concerned messages, and I got, like, this whole, like, are you okay message, and I'm like... I'm like, bro, I just want to draw cute anime girls bleeding, missing limbs, and missing eyeballs. Is that so hard to ask? Is it so hard to ask to be able to draw a cute anime girl with a hole in her chest? Where her heart is supposed to be, and and it's and and blood is gushing out of it. Like, come on, man. Uh, yeah, I I I draw like I guess you can say like cute, creepy cute art. I guess I just really like to draw a uh, cute uh girls with like I don't know. It makes sense to me, okay? <laughs> like, I'll draw a cute anime girl with a bloody nose or something, you know? Yeah, it's just girl things, you know? It, it's, it's just girl things. It's just girl things. It's just girl things, guys. Speaking of throne wish lists and presents, no, 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 no. did we ever have a follow-up unboxing stream from the chat buys you things from Amazon stream? Oh shit, we have it. It's uh, believe it or not, they're all just sitting there in my room because I'm afraid to show my hands on stream. Don't worry, soon I'll I'll get courage soon enough. Wear gloves. Even with even with gloves, like I feel 
I don't know. I don't know. Show feet instead? Hey, you freak! I'm not gonna show my feet! You're not gonna get to see my toes. Over my... Over my... Over my... Crying body. I don't know. Dead body. I don't know. Dun 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 do you guys want to see an art? Do you guys want to see an art that I drew? Do you want to see an art? Here's an orts. This is an orts I did. Here's an art. Literally me. <laughs> Literally me. Literally me. <laughs> that looks so good. Funny, I, I was actually thinking about auctioning off some of my art, uh, in the future for charity, for, uh, the IDF. Cause they're all just sitting there in my room, and I don't really do anything with them. I don't really do anything with them, so I'm like, maybe I should just auction all this stuff off, cause it's just sitting there in my closet. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, I'll show you one more. This one I like a lot. I like this one too. Ba 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 ba. This one. What do you think? I hear it's you? somewhat common for artists with a lot of medical issues to express it like that. Seems normal to me. Oh! I'm glad people like it. Oh! <laughs> maybe, 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 maybe I'll start drawling again. <laughs> maybe I'll start drawling again. Maybe, maybe.
Art streams one? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I bought a tablet. I bought a tablet. I want to do an art stream. Maybe I'll do one sometime soon. Art stream for charity? Well, if you put it like that, then I can't say no. If you put it that way, I can't say no now. God damn it. Why'd you have to say that? Auction pieces. Yeah, I think I think I definitely want to because all these all these pieces I have like I have some on like canvas and stuff that I did and they're just like sitting there in my closet not doing anything. I even did a version of Iron Mouse like this. Like I have a Iron Mouse a, one of me like this kind of it it, it kind of looks like this. <clears throat> But I I never I never uploaded it so it's uh, I have to I have to find it it's in my closet I need to find it and take a picture of it I can't show it right now because I don't I don't have a picture of it <laughs> it's in my closet yeah bleeding iron mouse I, that one I've never shown it to anybody because I feel I was worried about showing that because I know like a lot of people you know I'm iron mouse so I I know people will be like what the fuck. I, I don't think people would like it. I, not that they wouldn't like it. I feel like people would be disturbed. And I don't want to, like, disturb anybody. Your Iron Mouse? <gasps> what? <laughs> I just didn't want to make... You know, I didn't want to, like... I don't want to ruin anybody's day <laughs> for having to look at that. <laughs> you know? I think I don't know. Sometimes sometimes there's just like pieces of art that I know that is art is a powerful thing, you know, and I just don't want to like upset anybody. She's Iron Mouse. Oh my god. So yeah, so this is this is my art. Thanks for listening. I might do a art auction for charity. When I do it, uh, I hope you guys like weird shit like that because that's all there is. There's nothing else that's not weird. That's available. Uh, I hope you like weird shit. Merch art, man, you know, it's funny because my sister, when my sister was here, my sister was like, she's like, Mouse, what are you going to do with all that art? She's like, why don't you make merch of it or something? And I'm like, I don't know, man. I don't think people would buy that. <laughs> I don't know if people would buy it. <laughs> she's like, are you stupid? <laughs> she was like, she was like, well, if you decide to, I'll, I'll help you and I'll help manage your art, the art side of your stuff. And I'm like. Convince her to move in with me? Okay. <laughs> Bro, I've been trying to get my sister to move in here. <laughs> Is it bad? Is it selfish of me? I just want her to quit her damn job and come over here. <laughs> And be with me. <laughs> Quit your damn job already. Quit your damn job. Let me take care of you, woman. Remember Happy Tree? Oh, Happy Tree Friends. Jesus, that's blast from the past. Oh, yeah. Metal plate like this plate. Oh, I remember display. Is display still a thing? Just quit and come to the dark. Dude. The, the conversations that we were having. The conversations! The conversations that we were having. 
this past was so funny because she started asking me she started asking me about like VTubing and about all this stuff and I'm like I was like, you know, and she she was just like, you know, I'm just going to come here and I'm just going to sit and I'm going to watch you stream. Because it's not, it's not enough for me to watch your stream from like a screen. It's like, I just want to watch you do what you do. And I'm like. <laughs> it begins. It begins today. It begins today. Bro, I just, I just want... We didn't get to record our video, but we were gonna record it soon. Uh, she's, uh, she's off doing work shit, but she's coming back soon. And once she's back... <laughs> she did get the bug. She did get the bug. She got the bug. She got the bug. She got the bug. She got the bug. I, you know what I think? You know what I think, like helped a little bit i think winning that award like helped because when she saw that i won the award and stuff and she she was just really like proud she was really proud of me and she was more interested in stuff because at first like she was always like supportive but like there's like there's parts of her that like she's worried because to her this is like a very like lucrative industry you know what i mean that's the exact wording she said to me she was like this is a very lucrative business this is a very lucrative industry it's very unpredictable and i'm like that is true that is true Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know if she's worried. I think she's like, you know what her biggest worry is? Her biggest worry. So she, she was telling, man, we had like this, this talk because she, she, she like finally, she's always the type that like has it together. She's always had her shit together. She's always like everything perfect all the time. She was the perfect person all the time. I was not the perfect person. You know what I mean? So it was like perfection. <laughs> Not perfection, but she expressed something to me, which I was a little bit like She expressed to me that she She was she was afraid that like She was losing her creativity And I was like, oh You've been in, you've been in the corporal game so long She was like, I, she was just like, I just see everything that you do and you get to flex your creative muscles. And she told me that, like, you know, everything is just like My little nephew crazy visiting and creative from the and US stuff. saw me watching you and got interested, but I'm hesitant because you swear like a Puerto Rican sailor. <laughs> Are there any family friendly YouTubers I can show what her? What the heck? I can be family friendly? I can be family friendly? What the heck? Hi, Mouse. Love your art. Would you consider selling an art book as merch someday? Yes, it's actually on my on my uh, it's on my agenda uh, to sell a uh, art book of of all my art for merch, but it's taking some time because I want to find some good. I want to find good Henya. Do you think Henya's family friendly? I think Henya can be family friendly, but like. I mean, her fan name is Hentai, so, you know, that already, like, throws family friendly out the window. Bro, she curses too, you know? She's like, fuck Dio. Stupid bitch Dio. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> Bro, family friendly? I'm just gonna be honest, most VTubers are not family friendly. Define family. I don't know. Define family, bros. Melody, you know what? Oh my god, it's so funny. Guys, I'm just gonna be honest with you. The most family friendly VTuber we have in the shoujo is Melody. 
It's true. It's true. It is a hundred percent true. A hundred thousand percent true. Her streams are so family friendly. She doesn't. I've never seen anyone. Okay, Melody girl, I love you, but she's afraid to. to she's sometimes she's like afraid to curse or say a word that's negative, like say stupid or something, you know, because it's negative and she feels bad. She's the sweetest. She's the sweetest person you will ever meet. She doesn't like any word that has a negative connotation. And she's afraid to say it. And I think that's so cute and funny. <laughs> However, comma. However, comma. She can go off on tangents. She has a lot of knowledge. She has a, no a lot of knowledge. Especially knowledge about things that you wouldn't even expect her to know about. And she knows a lot. She knows a lot. So if you ask her a question on something, nine times out of ten, she knows everything about it and she'll tell you the history and she'll tell you everything about it. However, also however, comma, that is just for Twitch. So if you want to see a family-friendly VTuber, only watch her on Twitch because if you see her anywhere else, then, uh, that's not family-friendly. <laughs> I feel like she compartmentalizes herself pretty well. She's pretty, she's pretty good at that. <laughs> yeah, uh, she does exercise. She does yoga on another website. Don't go there because that's not family friendly. She does tantric yoga. It's hot and heavy. <laughs> oh yeah, fruit is pretty family friendly too. Fruit is pretty family friendly. She says, freak. Freak. And then you hear her do a metal scream and it's like, whoa! Crazy! You think Giga's family friendly? Yeah, she's she's kind of a little bit, but not too, not too much. Uh, a, a, a smidgen, a tad. Zen is not family friendly. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> what the hell are you talking about, bro? Huh? Shoto's family friendly? I don't know, man. Uh, guys, anybody who I mentioned today, don't get offended that I said family friendly, okay? It's just that you guys curse way less than me. That's, that's the only thing I'm saying. Y'all know that I curse way too much. It's a Puerto Rican thing, okay? I'm trying. I'm trying to do better. Who's the hot yoga lady? Melody is the hot yoga lady. <laughs> Mouseheim is the most family friendly. She's so family friendly she doesn't even stream. <laughs> that's true. Oh, that's true. He may come back. Where the fuck are you? Guys, by the way, yesterday... Not yesterday, the day before. I'm just letting you guys know. On Friday the 5th, we had an exclusive merch drop. We have the Vishojo Be So Lovely collection dropped. I am... She just tweeted. Wait, what? Did she? Are you here? That's true. I know she tweeted the other day. Oh, shit! She tweeted five hours ago a picture of her earrings. Guys, I'm just letting you guys know. We released merch with Be So Lovely, a jewelry collection. Now you can conquer the world with my earrings. I designed these really super cute earrings. Let me show you a screenshot so you can see the earrings. You can get them at BeSoLovely.com If there's any Funko- Uh, no. <laughs> Funko Pop? Ecumi? What are you talking about Funko Pop? 
You want to give Connor a heart attack? <laughs> he hates Funko Pop. I, 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 I kind of, I don't really like Funko Pop, but you know. Check out my earrings from Be So Lovely. If you guys are interested, any anybody want to buy some cute little earrings? Look, we got some cute, cute earrings. These are Iron Mouse earrings for your girl. If you're a girl, if you're a guy, anybody can wear them, really. Anyone can wear them. Aren't they cute? You can get them at BeSoLovely.com. Woo! Yeah, very stylish. All the girls have their own release. Uh, Hime made earrings. Henya made a, 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 a pendant. Zen made a pendant. Fruit made a necklace. Mel made a pendant. I just really wanted to make earrings because I made I made a I made a necklace uh, before. My first one was a necklace. My first one was a necklace, and I made earrings. And I hope I hope one day we can collab with Be So Lovely again because I would love to make a ring. I think a ring would be super cute. You can put it on your toe. Or your finger. What is the melody necklace supposed the melody pendant supposed to be? It says hentai on it. Get ready to glitch out with the melody. I think I think her pendant is supposed to be like a USB thing. Like a USB stick. I don't know how long the sale is going to be for. J.O. Crystal? Oh, February 5th. February 5th, I think, right? Yeah, February 5th. February 5th. So get my earrings now if you want them before it's too late. What song is this? This is called What's Poppin' by JP the Wavy. J.O. Crystal merch. <laughs> Guys, I'll have my exclusive J.O. Crystal merch released soon. I must do you watch anime. I do watch anime from time to time. I do watch anime from time to time. My favorite anime is Gintama. Uh, I love One Piece. Demon Slayer? I, I, I too have watched Demon Slayer. I'm gonna be honest. This past season of Demon Slayer kind of left me like... Eh. You know? I never started One Piece, and now it's like 1K episodes. Listen, I'm gonna be honest with you. I know it looks like a like a daunting task to start One Piece, but I can assure you, once you start One Piece, One Piece is one of those things where it's like the story grabs you by the balls, and you're gonna wanna watch it for you're gonna wanna binge watch it. It happened to me. I was like, oh man, how am I ever going to get through all this? And then I started watching I'm like, oh shit. Uh, I just spent a week of my life watching nothing but One Piece. <laughs> Oops. My mom thought I died. My mom was like, what is going on? I haven't heard from you in days. Like, you don't understand! Luffy! <laughs> They will remake. Oh yeah, I, I heard about the remake. What is, what does that mean exactly? Are they just redoing all the animation? That's kind of sad. I mean, I, okay, I I'm I'm interested, but also I'm kind of sad a little bit because I don't know. I don't know if you guys know, 
let's just be real, okay? Can, can we just be honest with ourselves? They changed Robin, okay? Robin looked a certain way when the show started. And they changed Robin. And I'm gonna be honest. I miss old Robin. <laughs> uh, I miss my old Robin. And I'm afraid that when they redo the animation, that old Robin's not gonna exist anymore. And I'm like, where's my Robin? Not only that, they changed Usopp. <laughs> They kind of changed Zoro too. Like, everybody got changed. And I'm just like... <sighs> everybody got changed, man. But I think the, the biggest... The biggest... The biggest issue for me... The biggest issue for me... Was the fact that... They changed Robin. I think that was the one that hurt the most. Because the change was so drastic. It was so drastic, man. It was just like, what the heck? What happened? You change all the Bring time? No, the no, Robin no. I don't think you understand hat. the type of change that I mean. <laughs> I don't think you get it. But yeah, I do. I do. I do. I do change all the time, okay? Bro, I, my queen, my queen ramen. I love her so much. I love her. She's one of my favorite One Piece characters. <sighs> it's just, it's just like they're, they're, they're sailing all day. Like it just makes sense, man. What's, what's happening? Why would you do? It doesn't now. Now it doesn't make sense. Yeah, I cried. I cried. Her her story made me cry so much. Actually, it's so funny. Robin's arc was what got me hooked onto One Piece. Because I was still kind of like iffy about it. But the second Robin showed up, that was what like saved the show for me. Because I was kind of like, I, I was interested, but I wasn't invested until Robin came. Robin's story just like gripped me by the boobs. It gripped me by the boobs. And... Twisted my boobs and I was like, oh my god, feelings. Ugh. What? I could have just said balls, but I don't have them. <coughs> yeah, Ennius Lobby was amazing. Uh Marine Ford was amazing. Uh Water 7, amazing. Those were my favorite arcs. My favorite some of my favorite arcs. Arlong did it for oh god, I fucking hate Arlong, dude. Ugh. The thing with Nami, that 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 moment with Nami with Luffy and the hat, that shit. Alright, that made me cry. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. That made me cry. It's just listen, if you have not watched One Piece, One Piece will make you cry over things you never thought you would cry about. Like, I cried over a fucking boat, okay? When in my lifetime would I think that I would cry over a fucking boat? Never in my life. Never in my life did I think I would cry over a fucking boat. I cried over a fucking ship. I cried over a whale. I cried over a ship. I cried over some fucking creature on some island of monsters. It's like, God damn it! Stop making me feel feelings, One Piece. Stop it. Spoiler for you? How is this a spoiler? I'm just naming off random things. I'm not even saying specific details of the story. Also, if you haven't watched One Piece, I'm just gonna be honest, okay? Either you're gonna watch it or you're not gonna watch it, okay? Some people might go off and watch it today, but most of the people here saying, wow, I'm definitely gonna watch it. You ain't gonna fucking watch it. Let's just be real. You had your chance. The episodes keep climbing up there and you're not gonna watch it. But you know what? Hopefully me telling you that you're not gonna watch it makes you watch it because you're like, I'll show her. I'll show her. I'm gonna fucking watch it. Oh, Bunkley made me cry too. Oh, Bunkley.
that's why I keep telling you that you're not gonna watch it. Because me telling you that you're not gonna watch it, you're gonna start getting mad at me. And just to prove me wrong, you're gonna start watching it. And then I got, I did what I said I was gonna make you do. Well, there you go. You're freaking welcome, fellas. But now I revealed my secret, so you might not watch it. But you know what? Yeah, you might not watch it anyway, because you're not going to watch it. <laughs> you're not going to freaking watch it. So just be honest with yourself. As if you have the commitment to watch something like that. <laughs> Me over here, Sarge, that Dragon Ball Super isn't gonna animate the Moro or Gronla arc. Oh, shit. I don't know shit about Dragon Ball. <gasps> but, oh my god, did you guys see that, that Dragon Ball live show thing? I saw it on Twitter. Apparently, there was, like, a live show in China of Dragon Ball, and they did, like, a, a for New Year's. And I'm like, holy shit, that was the craziest shit I've ever seen. <laughs> That's crazy. And people, people in the comments, they were like, oh, my God, so cringe. And I'm like, bruh, you say that's cringe? I think that that's cr fucking crazy. The amount of production that went into that shit. If only they would have done half of that production for the Dragon Ball movie. If only. Let's just be true. Let's be real and true right now. That movie doesn't exist. You know what? It does exist. And it's a hot mess. It does exist. And it's utter garbage. It's trash. Why don't we just watch it one day and just understand that it's garbage and just laugh? Appreciate bad stuff. It doesn't exist. <laughs> it doesn't. It does exist. <laughs> it does exist. And you have to know the fact that it does exist. It lives in the back of your mind. <laughs> I'm Satan after all. Here to remind you. Back at it again. Here to remind you that that movie exists. Watch longer. I'm not watching it. <laughs> How many live action Hollywood movies based on games and anime have actually taken the time to tr be true to the source material? Uh, so far, One Piece. I'm gonna be honest, I watched the first episode of the Yu Yu Hakusho live action. And at the end of the episode, it just made me want to watch the original Yu Yu Hakusho. I just was like, why the fuck am I watching this when I could watch the original anime? <laughs> what was the point of this? What was the point of this? And then I just ended up watching the original anyway. Yeah, the, the One Piece one was pretty good, I'm, I have to say. I haven't watched the Full Metal Alchemist live-action movies or anything, uh, but I hear they're not good. Uh, but I haven't watched them, so I wouldn't know. I'm not one to judge because I haven't seen it, so I don't know. <clears throat> they're so bad. Oh, God. You know, I heard that the Speed Racer movie is actually good. Is that true? I've never seen it. Really? It's actually good? Uh, the, the first Gintama movie was actually good. It's true. I heard the 
that yeah, I heard that Rudoni Kenshin movies are good too, but I haven't seen them. I like Detective Pikachu. Oh, Detective Pikachu. I like that movie. Speaking of speaking of Pokemon, I started watching Pokemon Concierge. Oh my god. So so in my panic attack state to relax, I started watching Pokemon Concierge and Pokemon Concierge helped my heart palpitations and my chest pain. I don't know what I don't know how, but that move, that show relaxed the fuck out of me. <laughs> it was so cute. You, oh my god, for those of you that don't know what Pokemon Concierge is, Pokemon Concierge is this really cute, like, stop motion uh, show on Netflix about this woman that everything goes wrong in her life. Everything is going wrong. Her boyfriend of six years broke up with her. She got gum on her shoe. Her shit is going bad. She spilled her coffee. Her job is annoying. Everything is annoying. And she just gets sick of life to the point where she's like, I'm leaving. And she goes to an island. An island resort where humans and Pokemon, uh, they get to be there and they get to get pampered and stuff. And she gets a job at the Pokemon island place and she becomes a concierge at the pokemon island place and it's a slice of life pokemon show and yeah it's like a it's a it's like a date it's like a spa uh resort type place and when she gets there the lady's like you have one job and she's like what's the job tell me what do i have to do and she's like have fun and she's like i don't know how to have fun and she's like you need to choose a pokemon to be your companion for the rest um, by the end of the day and she finds a pokemon companion and it's the cutest thing ever. It's so cute. It's so cute. Yeah, it was basically like, I don't know how to have fun. My whole life was stress. You know, it's one of those. It's one of those slice of life ones where it's like, woman goes on a on a life self-discovery journey kind of like you know those those movies it's like those old it's like those old movies of those women they're going on a life discovery and then all of a sudden they find out oh i found what i was looking for except that it's pokemon it's pokemon under the tuscan sun <laughs> pokemon under the tuscan sun Yeah, it's a very live, laugh, love movie. Disguised as Pokemon. Actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna, I, I think I'm gonna send it to my sister so she could watch it. I think she liked that show. I honestly think she would like it. Yeah, it's eat, pray, Pokemon. <laughs> it's eat, pray, Pokemon. It's so cute, though. Oh no! It's 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 very it's a very cute it's very cute. Actually, you know what? I think. Wait, hold on. Wait a minute. Is it just me? I feel like the girl from Pokemon Concierge kind of looks like Julia Roberts. <laughs> like a like a like a cute version of Julia Roberts. <laughs> she could be. I get I get Julia Roberts vibes. I get I get a uh... We should watch a trailer. <laughs> Let me see. Pokemon Pokemon Concierge tr 
Sierra's tra trailer. Said what I said, I'd rather be famous instead. I'm getting the concierge stuff. Ugh. Ugh. But before we get to that, have I talked to you about our Lord and Savior, NordVPN? You can get an exclusive deal at nordvpn.com slash ironmouse. It's a risk-free with thir Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. Every purchase of a two-year plan receives four bonus months for free, and an additional one bonus month will be given for using my link at nordvpn.com slash ironmouse. That includes all plans, standard, plus, and complete. It's an all-around cybersecurity brand, not just a VPN. You get threat protection, NordPass, NordLocker, and it protects against man-in-the-middle attacks, phishing, password attacks, DDoS, malware, malvertising, and ransomware. So what are you waiting for? Don't wait and miss out on this amazing sale, an amazing deal. Go to nordvpn.com slash ironmouse and get protected today or else. There's no such thing as a Pokemon resort that you can run away to. <laughs> Thank you. Uh... To battle. Settle. Goodbye. Bum ba 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 bum bum ba 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 bum bum. Isn't she cute? Jesus. She's so cute! I'm supposed to start working here today. My name is Haru. Welcome! Amazing. Amazing! To the place. Our job is to take care Sorry of these Pokemon and ensure they... Mousy, but have you seen the new One Piece opening? It's crazy good. I've, I've not seen it. Well, well maybe I'll, I'll take a look later. Enjoy the resort. In other words, you'll be the Pokemon concierge. The Pokemon resort. It is stop motion, isn't it cute? can't believe I'm actually here. So relaxed. I want you to make the Pokemon feel the exact same way that you do. Bye, Duck! Huh? The Pokemon don't exactly tell you what makes them happy. And I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. Well, most humans won't say- Bro, this, sh this show got rid of my, my chest pains, man. It got rid of my chest pains. It's so cute. ...to your face either. They say things like, take a guess. I'm gonna be honest, before I started watching this show, I hate, I, I, not that I hated Psyduck, I just didn't like him. I found Psyduck to be annoying. But now, I love Psyduck. He's so cute. They're all pretty interesting, right? Ah! This one is Hoppip. This is Mudkip. And the yellow one is Pika. No, I mean, it's Psyduck. Let me show you around The dreamy place you stay Everyone is smiling Now, let's have another fun day at work! Welcome to the Pokémon Resort! Pokémon Resort! 
I wonder which Pokemon we'll meet today. I know my heart when I watched it like it kind of made me cry a little bit I don't know why it was just so cute it was just so cute it kind of made me cry a little bit <laughs> it made me feel good though it was like a good feeling of cry you know a really good crying feeling yeah a ultra ultra wholesome crying like I said, it cured my heart, my chest pains. <laughs> after watching, after I started watching, I was like, oh, my chest pains are gone. Thank goodness. Phew, thanks, Pokemon concierge. You, you can ba baby, baby cry, baby cry you. What the heck? Baby cry you. Baby cry you. It's a series. It's a series. I think there's only like, there's only like four, four or five episodes though. It's pretty short. It's pretty short. It's pretty short. No, you. Yeah, it's only four episodes. But hopefully, if if a lot of people watch it, they might make more, and it'll be cute, and it'll be great, and then. We'll all be very happy and, uh, Pokemon. You know? Only four needs to be forever. Listen, if there were more... Listen, sometimes... Sometimes more episodes is not good. I'm gonna be honest with you. Let's just be real here. Sometimes four episodes... Sometimes more episodes is not good. Because, you know, the longer things are, the, the easier it is for somebody to mess them up. And you know that that's true. Baby, stay. Oh, oh. Sex education. Wait, huh? <laughs> where, 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 why are you saying sex education in chat? What the fuck? How many Iron Mouse episodes are... I don't know. How many Iron Mouse episodes would there be? Need you to stay. Sex Education is a show on Netflix. Oh, a show. There's a sex education show on Netflix? Ooh. I didn't know that. I've never seen Bojack Horseman. Never seen it. Never seen it. Is it good? It's nihilistic? Oh, okay. I understand that. I understand what nihilism means. I understand what that means. I understand what that means. I'm gonna be honest, guys. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't know what we're doing today. Because <clears throat> I came on with no plans. Bye, thank you so much for the dono. Did you ever check out Sim Uh, I I still haven't watched Sim I haven't had time to watch it, but I did watch clips on YouTube, and it does look very tokusatsu, very magical girl. Mouse, did you ever check out the Sim anime? I haven't very checked tokusatsu it out yet. and magical, inspired with amazing songs. I haven't, I haven't, uh, I haven't, I haven't checked it out yet, but I, but I want to, I want to, I want to. And Twals is joining No Pixel. Woo! <laughs> yeah! Wait. 
Let's go! Dun, 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 dun. If you were an anime character, who would you be? I'd be myself. I am anime. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, hmm, hmm. I don't know. I haven't thought about it. I haven't thought about it. I haven't thought about it. I am anime. But which anime would you be in? Ooh, that's a good question. Actually, I saw somebody on Twitter yesterday post, you're in the world of the last game you played, and, and the last game I played was Minecraft, so I don't mind being in the Minecraft world. I love Minecraft. I don't know what anime... I think... I think... If I could be in any anime world, I would want to be in, don't laugh at me, fairy tale because you get powers and you get to be in a guild and have lots of friends. And you get to have, you get to do magic. It's fun. You can defend yourself with magic. There's no contracts that you have to make where you die and turn into a horrible monster. It's safe, but it's also exciting, you know? You do camp? Oh. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real with you guys. I don't I don't really watch much slice of life anime, which is why I was very shocked that I loved Pokemon um Pokemon Concierge. Very, very shocked that I, that I, that I enjoyed Pokemon Concierge because I'm not really into the whole, like, slice of life type stuff. I like exciting shit. I like exciting stuff. I love horror. V I love Minecraft comedy. I love audio visual medicine. It's true. V Shoujo Minecraft. Tonight. You live in Jujutsu Kaisen? Are you crazy? Hell no. I don't want to live in there. Ew! One second you're turned into a fucking monster because some guy had a bad day and he wants to give back at some guy that he knew back in the day. And he's like, I'm fuck it, I'm just gonna obliterate everybody in Tokyo. Fuck that shit. What the fuck? I don't wanna be there. He's like, you know what? I'm pissed at this guy. He used to be my friend, he's not my friend anymore. Fuck it, I'm killing everybody. Oh, God. No, I'd win. You know what? Everybody says that. Everybody says, yeah, I'd win. No, no, you wouldn't. You wouldn't freaking win. You wouldn't win. But me telling you that you wouldn't win will motivate you to win, so... <clears throat> so then I take credit for your win. You're welcome. <laughs> you become Gojo There is only one Gojo in that show There ain't no two Gojos And it's not you <laughs> I think about that all the time I think about Man if I were to just like Be in an anime And then I think about I'd probably be some fucking background character Cause there's only one main character And it ain't gonna be fucking me I am him. <laughs> no, you're not. You're not him. Cry baby. <laughs> I'd be a background character. Look at those, look at those baby cries. <laughs> Sakuno would be the main character. If Sakuno would be the main character of my anime, I would be so pissed. I'd kick him off my anime. <laughs> <laughs> K 
Take them out. <laughs> We're all the main characters of our own stories, guys. Just letting you know. Perfect song for that message. <laughs> I love I, I love this song so much. I love I love this song. I love this song. Infinity song? Love infinity song. birthday I forgot I didn't get to discuss what we're doing for my birthday okay so this week wait let me get my calendar let me get my calendar later Got my calendar out. Calendar. It's birthday week. Poor Connor. What the heck? Huh? What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? What does that mean? All right. Bro, what the heck? Guys, listen. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. My birthday is this Thursday. Just letting you guys know. So we're going to be doing VR chat on Saturday. VR chat party on Saturday. Possible 24-hour stream. Which will be Saturday into Sunday. If I'm feeling good, we will be doing our 24-hour stream Saturday and Sunday. How can someone do something for 24 hours? Bruh. I don't know, but I'm gonna try. If I can't stay up, I'll probably just sleep on stream. I think I'll probably just sleep on stream. <laughs> I'll sleep on stream and, uh... Uh... Play Geometry Dash! That'll make me go to sleep even faster! But that's only if I... If, that's only if I feel good. On my birthday... We will be playing games with friends. Games with friends on my birthday. We'll be celebrating my birthday. It'll be a low-key birthday. Games with friends. My friends asked me what games I would like to play. What games would you be interested in us playing? I kind of also want to play Little Company. Okay. Uh, Connor will be joining us. We'll have uh, multiple people joining us. Golf with friends? Oh man, it's no golf. <laughs> Little company, my favorite. We can have a big Little company lobby. Unfortunately, Henya can't join us that day because she's she's unable to to join. But uh, I told her we'll play we'll play games that week together. Uh, so we have games with friends on Thursday, on Friday. Hold on, let me let me double check something. Da -na 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 -na. Oh, 
also we were thinking about maybe trying to play Minecraft together either on Thursday or Friday. So, uh, I know Fruit kind of... I saw that Fruit, uh, made a suggestion that we could maybe try to kill the Ender Dragon on my birthday. Which I think would be really fun. I would love to kill the Ender Dragon for my birthday. I would love to kill the Ender Dragon on my birthday. So I was thinking we do we do normal games on on we do like Lethal Company games on my birthday, which is on Thursday. Then on Friday we do Minecraft and uh, I got a special invite. I got a special invite, a special birthday invite for so Monkey much. to How join the that? Minecraft server with us, so he will be there with us. A special invitation just for me as a gift for my birthday. And maybe we could beat the Ender Dragon and then we'll have a weird chat party on Saturday. And if I'm feeling okay, we'll do a 24 hour stream. Yeah, so Monkey returns to Minecraft this week. Which reminds me, I have to get his stuff ready. Uh, I, I promised him I would get all of his gear made because uh, I don't want him to like go in. You know how it is. He's dumb. He doesn't know what he's doing. But will Booby join? Um, I don't think Booby will join. Uh, I don't think Booby will join, but Booby will be Sorry, appearing I'm sometime to join. soon. How are you doing? Are you, are you feeling better? Thank you for all your hard thank work you, and for thank simply you for the being donal, who you thank are. You. He can't survive, bro. Y'all know that he doesn't know what he's doing, bro. I have to get... I gotta freaking... I have to teach him how to do everything. <laughs> I have to make all of this stuff. I have to make him a glider. I have to make him a backpack. I gotta make him... I gotta make him a... A, a freaking mermaid tail. I gotta make him all that shit, you know? I- I might not even make him a mermaid tail. I actually got a shit ton of dragon's breath, cause... For those of you that don't know, me, Fruit, and Henya, we made it to the ancient city. We killed three wardens. <laughs> we fucking killed the warden. We killed two more wardens. We made it into the next dimension. We- we went in there, we killed more wardens. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I was so stressed. I couldn't be on stream. I'm so sorry. But, uh, I'll show you around later. I'll go on later and I'll show you guys around the Vishojo server. And, uh, I'll work on my, the builds that I was working on. I have to finish. I'm almost done with the post office, but I got distracted because, you know, we started adventure. We started getting stuff. Also, I'm thinking instead of making Connor a, 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 a necklace, I was just going to make him a dragon backpack. Because I got, I got six bottles of dragon's breath, which I got, I gave one to Zen because Zen really wanted dragon's breath and she couldn't seem to find it. So I gave her one so she could make her sword. And with two dragon's breaths, you can make a backpack. But I think you need a dragon, an ender dragon egg. So I don't know if I'll be able to do it. Because we don't have the egg yet. But that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I can still make him a mermaid tail. The OP... Yo, I'm just going to be real with you, yo. <laughs> the sword... It's not like OP OP. Like, it, the, the whole thing with, like, putting the flag down and stuff. Yeah, you can kill things very easily. It's great. But it only does 9 damage. So, unless you're using it for the power... It's, a, uh, It's kind of ass. <laughs> but Zen loves flaming swords. So, I was like, Zen, it's incredible. The best sword in the game. <laughs> <laughs> she liked it. <laughs> she liked it. I want I want to make an awakened witch uh, lich lich blade. That's the sword that I want to make. That shit is 
fucking crazy. I'll show I'll show it to you guys later. I'll show it to you guys later so you guys can see like all the different swords and stuff because the sword mod is pretty crazy. Yeah, I, honestly, like, if she uses that sword, because since it's one-handed, if she uses it with another weapon, holy shit, then that's fucking OP. That's crazy. Two weapons? She can dual wield? All the weapons that I like are, are, are one-handed, too. I don't like, like, the claymore and shit. That's just too much. I need to have my hands free. Bro, the ice hammer... <laughs> She keeps, like, encasing herself in ice. Will you have Tofu add in the Aether? Since once it will release on the 20th. Chumbi, thank you so much for the raid. I hope you had a great stream. Oh, man, I really... I really wish we could add the Aether, but... I remember when we had the Aether on the... On the server the last time. It lagged so bad. Oh, we fought. We finally found out what the fuck the lag was all about. Remember how we were experiencing like horrific lag, bruh? It was the fucking birds. It was the birds. It was the damn birds, bro. Uh, Bert. The ones that sound like a radio. You know? Fucking crazy, damn birds. Yeah, he was they were they were lagging the server so bad. It's it was it sucked. It sucked, man, it sucked. Yeah, we got rid of the birds, so no more Twitter. The birds are gone. The birds are gone. It's sad. I love those birds. But that's okay, because we got, like, crazy alleys. I found another alley. Uh, me and Fruit found another alley uh, yesterday. It was a red one, so now he's inside my place. I do not love birds. I hate birds. I don't like them. I don't like birds. What the heck? They released a portal mod? Portal Revolution. What the I was looking at I'm looking at the Steam store because I'm like I'm looking at what games are out now. There's a portal mod out now? Mm. I'm trying to see... As you guys know, I love horror games. Especially like, you know... I just, I just love horror games a lot. There's this game that's supposed to come out called Super Normal. Uh, I don't think it's come out yet though. When does it come out? Hold on, let me see. I wanted to play it. Comes out tomorrow. What version of Minecraft can the Vishojo mod work on? Uh, the latest one, 1.20.1? Check out In Sound Mind. In Sound Mind? In sound mind. Oh. What the fuck? I own this game. Huh? I bought this game with the intention to play it and I never played it. Holy shit. I forgot. The living tombstone did the music? Really? I'm interested now. It looks pretty cool. And it has great reviews. You will cry? Wait, it's sad? Is it sad? Is 
sad. If you want sad, try Bramble. Oh yeah, I heard that Henya play, played it. I didn't watch the stream because I wanted to be surprised because I, I bought the game and I want to play it. So I didn't watch her stream. Oh man, there's so many games I want to play. I'm so behind. I'm thinking, I'm thinking... I'm thinking for... I want to play... Wait, how long does it take to beat In Sound Mind? In sound mind. How long to beat? Oh, 10 hours. 10 hours. You still gotta play the Halo game? Um, <laughs> I never said I'm playing fucking Halo. Are you kidding? I don't want to play Halo. Also, I love Zed, but... She's into like these like she's into like what's that game? Civil civilization or whatever. I don't wanna play the game. I don't wanna play that game. <laughs> I love her, but I don't wanna play that game. I don't wanna think like that. Monster Hunter, yes. Uh actually Pete approached me to play Monster Hunter. Uh He said that he wanted to play the new the Iceborne one. Da da na 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 Yeah, world the world expansion. I would just have to like restart everything, right? I, I mean, I don't I don't have a save date on here anyway, and my, my cloud fucked up, so I have to redo everything. All I have is Rise data. So I was thinking maybe, uh, because I really want to play. He wants to play with me, and uh, I saw that, that, that uh, Zen was playing it. There's a mod to just put you at Iceborne? Really? I did not play the Among Us Vampire Survivors DLC because I just... I love Vampire Survivors. I just wasn't interested in Among Us DLC. Yeah, I, I don't want to cheat. I don't want to cheat. I just want to get there when I get there. So, I'm trying to think of when... Okay, I'm interested. I want to play Sister Location sometime this week. I'm interested in playing In Sound Mind because that game looks pretty fucking cool. And I saw somebody write Dead Space Remake in the chat. And I really wanted to play the remake. Because I started it and I never finished it. So I'm like... Maybe I should try to do the remake for the 24-hour stream. Because it's, it's going to take... Uh... It's going to take some time to finish that damn game. I would love to see you play. Oh, yeah. I would definitely... Wait. You mean the story or or RP? Because I'm definitely going to be doing GTA RP. I don't know if I'm going to do it today, though. I got to see... I'm kind of... My brain is, like, in so many different places right now. Oh, hold on. My brain is in so many different areas right now. It's not even funny. It's just... It's just, uh... I'm, like... I'm, I'm everywhere right now. My brain. You know what I mean?
ADHD? I don't have ADHD! I don't have that! It's just, I've been, I've been resting for three days and now my brain is exploding with stimulation! Do you understand? She's just young and has a lot of energy. What the heck? That's right, I just like to yump. Oh. Hey chat, remember one season Jujutsu Kaisen V2? Oh god. Bro, I just finished watching that, that past episode. <sighs> I watched it finally, the last episode of the season. Why they gotta do us like that, man? And? Ugh. Bro, that last episode, like... <clears throat> I dropped the series after the awful true villain reveal. Wait, huh? Yeah? You did? You dropped it? It's just like... God! The show is just like so... Oh my god! Oh. <sighs> it's just so like... What show Jujutsu Kaisen? Like... It's just like... How much suffering do you want? Yes. <laughs> That's the show. That's the show. That's the best way I could describe it. How depressing and how much suffering do you want in your in your show? And the answer is yes, please. Uh... It, it is kind of like suffering porn. I like... It's just like... Some of them, to me... Just felt so unnecessary. Like, there were there were parts where I just... I was just like, why did they do this? <laughs> like, what was the point of this? Why was it... Why, why this? This did not have to happen. This was... This did not have to happen. Why this? I just feel like... At, at what point do you do you just say, you know what, I just want to fuck people up because I just want to fuck people up. Not because it makes sense to fuck them up, but just because... You know? Also, there was like a really weird part that I was just like... What the fuck? <laughs> Uh, that was like a really weird part, uh, where I was just like, um, why is this here? <laughs> what the fuck did this have to do with anything? Why did this happen? <laughs> and I think you guys know what part I'm talking about because I just realized people are already writing it in the comments because I'm sure you were as confused as I was and I saw that part and I'm like, why is this here? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, I was just like, huh? <laughs> but then again, like, the more I think about it... 
actually no, that's Chainsaw Man. That that cha Chainsaw Man had another home part, but this one was totally, huh? It wasn't, it wasn't a violent scene, though. Like, I already saw people writing in the chat, so p there are people that know which scene it is. Uh, the scene that I'm talking about, that I was just like, huh? Was not a violent scene at all. There was no violence in it. It was just like... What the fuck? I was just like, why? What was the purpose of this? What was the per what was the purpose of this? Can you tell me? What's the problem? You know what? <laughs> Especially since he has that little Santa hat on that makes me <laughs> You little smug with your little Santa hat. I can't watch Chainsaw Man. They also kill off cool characters just because. Also, Denji sucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I don't like, um, what's her name in Chainsaw Man? I don't like Makina. I don't like her. I don't like her. I knew from, I, I know, like, from the moment I saw her, I knew something was off about her, and I don't like her. You boo, fuck off. You boo. I don't like her. I don't like her. She gives off the most fucking weird-ass vibes. And I don't, you cannot fix her. You can't fix her, chat. Chat, you cannot fix her. You cannot fix her. No one tell her? Don't worry. You don't have to tell me shit. I already know. I already know. You want to know why? Because I read. I read ahead. Because I was so put off. I was so put off by Makina. I, I was so put off by her that it made me read the manga. <laughs> her character fucked me up so bad like she she annoyed the fuck out of me to the point where i was like okay i'm gonna read the manga because i can't i can't wait for this shit i need to know and then i found out and i'm like oh well my suspicions were correct makima is the physical manifestation of gaslight gatekeep girl boss it's true she is and then i think about it i'm like man she's kind of like me for real for real no, I'm, just <laughs> I'm just kidding i'm just kidding Don't get me started. Don't get me. I don't. I don't want to go into spoiler territory. I don't. Power is my girl. I love her. Fuck Makima. She's weird. I don't like her. If evil, why hot? I don't know. Why always hot evil? <laughs> Mousy, play Fortnite. <laughs> Actually, I think Etoile Etoile invited me to play Fortnite. Uh. With the uh, Royer sometime. I think we're gonna play Fortnite sometime soon, so not today though. Not today. Not today. Please don't please don't what? Please don't play Fortnite. I love Fortnite. Don't don't talk shit about my fork knife. Yeah. Oh, I heard solo leveling came out. Was it good? Anybody who watched the first episode, can you tell me if it was good or not? Because I'm debating on watching it or not. Don't care. Okay. Okay, buddy. Twas good. It was I. Well. <laughs> the first episode fell slow. Oh, God. Well, I mean, it could be worse. It could be God of High School, where it's like, you watch the show, and unless you read the webtoon, you don't know what the fuck is going on. Holy shit. Bro, 
God of High School came out, and I was so excited. And then I watched it, and I'm like, if anybody didn't watch the webtoon and is watching this, they must be so fucking confused. They must be like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> what is happening? Iron Mouse Pats. Thank you. It, like, the show was not made for new viewers. The show was made for webtoon readers only. Because it, get, it gets into so much shit, and it doesn't explain jack shit. And I'm just like, oh my god, anybody watching this right now is probably like, what the fuck is going on? And they didn't read one, 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 they didn't read anything from Webtoon, and they're probably like super confused. The fights were good though. Yeah, the fight choreography, the fight the fight animation, fight choreo animation was really nice. The Sakuga. The Sakuga was very nice. You can't keep saying you're sick as an excuse not to stream. It's not like you have multiple chronic illnesses and deal with more <laughs> shit than any of us and still manage to be the best streamer on Twitch and hang out with your family. <laughs> Doris, Doris, thank you for the bit. <laughs> oh god. Bro, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> I take I take breaks. I gotta take breaks from time to time, even though I don't want to. I mean, I want to. I mean, I want to. But I did. Hola, hola, hola. Time. Ah, I hope my package will cheer you up from what's going on. Not oh, sure how long you. sanitation takes, but I know you'll love it. And happy birthday early. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm sure it will. Any any package will cheer me up. Why, but why did he breathe? <laughs> did you see my face? <laughs> the breathing got me like... What the... He's breathing now? The TTS can breathe? What the heck? Huh? All the time when he laughed. Dude, yeah, that time when he laughed. How did they get him to laugh like that? I, how do people manipulate the TTS like that? Because I don't, I still don't understand how people do it. So I'm just like, I just really want to know. Oh, is this one going to be one? Is he going to breathe or laugh? Is it crunchy? Spotify. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. 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 Do you listen to Yoasobi? Yeah! I do! Play Fortnite with Connor. Connor is sleeping right now. But we're gonna be hanging out lots this week because it's my birthday week. It's my birthday week. My birthday is on Thursday. Will you guys be here for my birthday... My birthday bash? One more time to remind you guys what we're doing for my birthday. My birthday day... Games with friends. Friday, possibly Minecraft. Saturday, VR chat party. And then 
into a 24-hour stream, which I will proceed to probably play a game, which probably might be Dead Space. <laughs> Maybe. If I feel, if I feel good, if I feel good. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the bitterlies. Thank you. Thank you very much. You gotta check out the new One Piece opening. Uh, I haven't, I haven't. Maybe, maybe we'll see it later. Maybe we'll see it later. Pancake or waffles? Hmm. Uh, I like both. I like both of them. I like both of them. Honey or no honey? Oh, I love French toast! I haven't eaten any of those things in so long. I definitely would love to, uh, maybe... Eat it sometime soon. Lethal VRM just dropped? No way. Did it really? <gasps> Did it really? Wait, I'm checking your thing. It's now available! Oh my god. Wait, I gotta download the mod right away. Lethal VRM is a VRM mod replacement mod, which is a VTuber collab tool that replaces models in game with VRM models of your VTuber friends and make lethal company collabs more immersive and fun. Summon the girls. So how does this work? Hold on. Hello Mousy, very excited because I got the notification a few days ago that your Apari merch has shipped, and it's supposed to arrive by Wednesday, yeah! appropriately just before your birthday Iron Mouse Blank Edens Iron Mouse Blank Edens. I'm glad you got it. I'm so excited. I, I love seeing all the pictures on Twitter of all the cool merch stuff. Thank you guys so much for posting pics. Let me see. Uh. Uh. VRM. Hey. Not sure if you remember me. We went to high school together, my name is Tasha. We used to play this game where we watch corn in the back of the class. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh! I'm sorry, I'm sorry that you had to put yourself on blast like that, Tasha. But I barely went to high school! <laughs> oh my god, I would miss so much school. I was always in danger of getting kicked out. It was crazy. So how does this lethal expansion work?
Yeah, I was always in danger of getting kicked out of school because, uh, because of the fact that I would miss so much school. <clears throat> So how does this work? Replace player models with custom VRM. The client mod requires some setup to see other players at VRM avatars. This is a tool specifically for VTuber collabs. There are no models included with this mod. Vroid Studio models are free and completely compatible. Install the mod, launch the game once, load into the ship. This will generate the VRM's folder in the root. Oh my god, so much stuff you gotta do. Find the VRM folder by going to Steam Library. Uh, place the VRM in the folder. Name with named with an ID to match the player whose model should be replaced. For example, blah 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 VRM. Oh my God! It's so much. It's a lot of setup. Holy shit! You have to join a game with the user who matches that ID number and it will replace their player model with a VRM. Oof! Wait, why is everybody infinitely head patting me? Did, was it something I said? Did I say something? Because I'm cute? Wait, what did I do? Oh! Why is everybody head patting me? Help! What did I do? Oh god! Did I do something? Wait, I'm scared. <laughs> Okay, do it more. Thank you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, I almost forgot on my birthday. <laughs> On my birthday, I have a model debut! Yeah! I forgot about that. <clears throat> so on my birthday, there will be a, a, a mini debut. Um, a new model. A new, a new opening screen. A new ending screen. A new background. Uh, uh, a teaser video. A lore slash teaser video. Not really a lore video. I just want... It's like a... Let's call it a celebration video. A celebration video. Mm hmm. New BGM. New BGM. New BGM. That's gonna be fun. Oh! I almost forgot. I'm so sorry about yesterday. So yesterday, I was supposed to release... Uh, my cover of Not A Devil was supposed to drop yesterday. Unfortunately, uh... I had to pull the 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 cover from YouTube because there were some issues with it, but it'll be back soon. Sorry. It it'll be back soon. It'll be back soon. Sorry about that. What the heck, Mouse? You only streamed about the same as most full-time streamers do last week. <laughs> Such a short stream week. Welcome back, oh Mousey. Oh my god. I can't believe this. <laughs> What's wrong with me? I actually have... I have, I have a second... Okay, so... I have another... I have another model. I have one model that's in... Uh, that I'm really... That I'm releasing on my birthday. Which is my... Uh, my Live 2D model. And then on Saturday, I have two models that I'll be releasing. Which is a, a 3D version of my Live 2D model. And a second model that I got made. Which... I'm not gonna show you the outfit, but I'll show you a preview. Hey, 
thank you so much for the gifted subs. Yay! She's so cute. Very fluffy hair. Very fluffy hair. How long is the stream? Wait, the stream for today? Well, I'm gonna go on quite some time today. I'm gonna stay on pretty late today, I think. Because I'm feeling good and I haven't streamed in three days and I'm going crazy. If I don't stream for more than three days, I go crazy. I go crazy, guys. I go crazy. And then, uh... My other, my other one. Okay, I'll I'll give you a sneak peek. A tiny, the tiniest peek, the tiniest sneak of peeks. You, I mean, I kind of really don't need to sneak peek this because you guys have kind of already seen it because you saw it on Nanolis' stream. But still, it's it's a it's a tiny it's a tiny peak. Actually, no, no tiny peak. Never mind. If you see if you seen it, you seen it. <laughs> okay, okay. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry, don't cry. I'm just kind of like... I'm kind of like in my floofy hair era. I'm kind of in my floofy hair arc right now. Kind of like in my floofy hair arc right now. I'm in a floofy hair arc right now. I, I'm living my floofy hair dreams right now, you know? Also because it kind of reflects what's going on in my real life. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever experienced such a thing. But sometimes when you get put on new medicine. It changes the texture of your hair. Uh, or it makes your hair fall out. Or it changes the texture of your hair. And I uh, went through a moment where my hair was falling out. But now my hair is growing back in. Uh, it's been growing back in a long time ago. But when it grew back in. Now... Uh, I'm on another medicine, and now my hair is really wavy. And, um... I don't know how to deal with that, because I've never had wavy hair... I've never had wavy, floofy hair in my whole life. I've had super straight hair my whole life. And now my hair is very floofy and wavy. Yeah, I, I finally have Latinian hair now, which is very strange. My hair used to be very, very, very straight. <laughs> Latina jeans activated. Yeah, the Latina jeans have been activated. Now, when I put my hair in a palm tree, it's like a floofy palm tree. I look like a truffle tree from the fucking... <laughs> I look like a fucking truffle tree from fucking the Lorax. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fucking truffle a tree. Insult Connor or me, please. What the? Huh? <laughs> will the Latina rage increase? I think so. Maybe, maybe it will. Maybe it will. I'm, I'm feeling kind of spicy. <laughs> I can say it because it's my spice. I can say it. But you can't. Feist even? Yeah, feist even. Feist even. Feist even. Feist even. 
What if I'm also a Latinian? Okay, if you're Latinian, fine. Fine, buddy. Fine, buddy. Fine, buddy. Fine, buddy. Okay, guy. Boricua gang. Sure thing, chum. Okay, guy. Okay, buddy. Okay, pal. I'm not your buddy, guy. Well, I'm not your pal, buddy. You forgot Capitan? I have to take my medicine soon, so I was thinking we could maybe... Watch some stuff. Let's go watch some videos. For now. And then we play other stuff. We play stuff. Or unless you just want me to keep on talking to you. I haven't talked in, f in three days. My voice. Do I even have a voice anymore? Am I even a human? No, I'm a demon. Am I still alive? Maybe. Connor be like, Spicy Latina gets fluffy hair eating meds. <laughs> Drop the playlist. Bro, it's this playlist on Spotify called City Pop Mix. Um, but... Is this... These AI generated personalities are getting a wild. Are you saying that I'm an AI personality? Perhaps maybe you can use it to help you write a better sentence. Because the one you type doesn't make sense. What the fuck? Shut up. <laughs> no. Filtered. <laughs> oh, man. If only I was AI, then I wouldn't have to feel feelings and emotions. <sighs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Bro, I this 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 playlist is not city pop. I mean City Pop music picked just for you. I mean it's it's popping though. It is fire though. I'm not complaining, which is why we're still listening to it. <laughs> How do we know you're not actually a demon? I am a demon. I told you I am. Oh, shit. Oh, you guys did a poll. I didn't even notice. <laughs> you guys did a poll. Wait a minute. Only, only 58 people voted for me talking? What the heck? What the fuck? That's so rude. Bro, that is so messed up. The hell? I voted for talking. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, scatter. Scatter, everybody. Scatter. 
You don't want to hear me talk? What? Can't believe you. Come back! Why are the little people so cute, man? Y'all make the people so... You guys are so cute. The cutest little peoples I've ever seen. Oh. Look how cute. Adorable people. They muscle. Okay, this I'm feeling this. I'm feeling this. I'm feeling this. This is a pretty nice playlist. I'm feeling this. You should try singing in your stream when you're a little bit loopy on drugs. It might be hilarious and entertaining. <laughs> Who are you? Did you watch the New Year's Eve stream? I finally watched the VOD. Holy shit. Also, Mataro was drunk as shit. <laughs> oh my god! That shit was crazy! She was drunk and I was high. It was insane. I think it's sweet. She turned into an I love you drunk. And I like I love that for her. I like that. I like I like I love you drunks. I don't like like I don't like the fuck you drunks. You know what I mean? Not the fuck you drunks. You mean the hater drunk? No, not the like. Okay, when people are like, "Oh, I'm such a, I'm such a piece of shit," that makes me sad. I just want to give them a hug. It's when they're like, "You fucking bitch, fuck you, you stupid," you know what I mean? The fuck everybody drunk that they just want to like beat the shit out of people. You know? You're a party drunk? Yeah. Like, Connor? Connor's a... Connor's a... It's hard to explain what type of drunk Connor is. Like, one time he called me, and all he did was talk about how swag he was. Like, he was like, yeah, that's because I'm so swag. I'm swag. Yeah, it's swag. And I'm like, bro, what the fuck? Are you alright? <laughs> Yeah, he's pretty chaotic. But, but pretty, like, chill. Yeah, he's pretty swag. And then he started saying swag money a lot. And I'm just like, why do you keep saying swag money? Are you alright? <laughs> <laughs> he 
it keeps repeat. It kept on repeating swag money. Oh yeah, you guys have seen him drunk on the truck simulator, which he he'll say that he wasn't, but <laughs> I mean he wasn't that bad. I've seen him worse. I've seen him worse on the truck sim. I've seen him worse. For sure. He was he was pretty much like buzzed. He wasn't like smashed, you know? That's him buzzed? <laughs> that wasn't him like drunk drunk like... Bro, him drunk drunk is like holy shit. Calm down, man. No, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, he's fine. <laughs> you should do- I do want to do a zooted truck stream. I finally found a way. I figured out a way to set up the wheel. I'm gonna be honest, I got that wheel, right? You guys are gonna laugh. So I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna get this wheel. I'm gonna set it up. It, first off, it came with a pedal. Second, when it came time for me to move the wheel, I realized I do not have the strength to lift that fucking... It is so heavy. It is so heavy. I, can, I can't lift it. I cannot lift the wheel. So I would need... <laughs> oh, 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 I couldn't lift it. It was too heavy. It was too heavy. But don't worry. I bought... Guys, for Christmas, I bought I bought some weights. Because I wanted to start lifting... <laughs> Nothing too crazy. I bought 5, 10, and 15 little pound weights. <laughs> to start working on my arms. Mifaya, thank you so much for the rain. I hope you had a great stream. Yeah, I got I got tiny weights so that I could start working on my arms. Get the 2.5. I got the five pounders. I got five pounders, ten pounders, and fifteen pounders. Mind you, for most of my life, I was medically advised not to lift anything that was heavier than like a phone book. That's what the doctor told me. And I'm like, what the fuck? A gallon of milk. That's what they told me. But that was because like I I had issues with like my central line and stuff. But now I'm 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 not I don't I'm not like on that issue anymore. You know I have my port and it's fine. It's secure. It's okay. Uh, the doctor told me I could do minimal weightlifting. Nothing too strenuous or crazy. But yeah, so I I like I fucking I fucking um had an issue with that fucking wheel because it was so fucking heavy so i couldn't lift it so i would need i need to take a time where someone can help me move the wheel and then i just do that for one stream and then i get somebody to help me move it back so i'm trying to schedule a day when i'm trying to schedule a day <laughs> where my sister's here so she can help me move the wheel and then i can do the driving stream <laughs> Cause it's so hard to move that thing And it's so big Oh my god it's so big It's so big Oh also I finally got my sec I got a second My second computer set up in my room With the chair Because I wanted to try to do like When you sitting. use the wheel be sure to turn down the force feedback It can bite What the fuck is force feedback What does that mean Force feedback steering wheel. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Oh god, does it get that bad? Does it get bad? Is it bad? Realistic.
You need to be careful with it. Keep your thumbs out. <gasps> Wait, I can rip off my thumbs? Ugh. I don't want to rip off my thumbs. You can dial it down with software. Oh, okay. Well, that, if, if that's the case, that's fine. It just seems like it might be a little hard, but I'm totally down. I, I really want to do it. I just need somebody to help me move it because... It's so heavy. It's so heavy. What brand is the wheel? It's a Logitech. A lo Logi Logi Logitech. Logitech. Log Logly Tech. You're strong. <laughs> Razor wheel. Wait, the razor make a wheel? I'm still learning more about wheels. Wrong weasel. <laughs> oh, razor, not razor. Man, it would be cool if razor did have a wheel, huh? Razor already makes such amazing stuff. Razor, I need new. I, I, I need. I need. I need some new stuff. Razor, help me. <laughs> help me, Razor. By the way, you can get five percent off your purchase at Razor.com if you type in Iron Mouse Five. I'm a Razor partner. Oh, also. By the way, I almost forgot. Uh, I'm actually planning a stream, a special stream. Uh, I'm not gonna do it. I'm probably not gonna do it on my birthday because I don't, I don't have enough time to plan it properly. But uh, for those of you that, if you guys remember, uh, we we were in a QSM. We were in the QSMP when Tubble was doing a stream where he was gifting gifts uh, to people from their wish list. So, I wanted to do a similar stream uh, as a thanks for my birthday, gifting people uh, gifts from their wish list and going over their chat history and determining if they deserve to get a present or not. So, I will be doing that uh, sometime this month, probably towards the end of the month. Towards the end of the month because uh, uh, there's a few things going on and I just want to make sure I do it right and there are a few things I have to set up before I do it. So, mind your chat history, everyone. Be good, be good, and make sure to get gifts onto your wish list. So when the day comes, if you get selected, I see if you were a good, a good chatter or not, and I get you a gift. For my birthday, I give you a gift. <laughs> You're always well behaved, you freaking liar. No, I'm scared. Hey, wait a minute. No, 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 no. You're a mod. That's cheating. You could just delete your comments. <clears throat> That's cheating, mod. You could just delete your comments. At least it's my, not my watch, <laughs> my search history. <laughs> Quick, clear your browser key. I don't, I, I feel, I've seen people do like, oh, I, I check out my, my viewers watch his search history. But I feel like it's so invasive for me to go through your search history. I feel kind of bad. 
even also how would i know what your search history looks like anyway you could just like alter it or delete it you know what i mean My search history isn't that bad. I don't know. My search history... What does my search history look like? Force feedback steering in sound mind. How long to be? Monster Hunter Wild. Can you break glass with your singing voice? Pokemon Concierge. <laughs> It's just all the stuff that I recently just searched now! Can you- I don't know if I can break glass with singing! There's a mystery! It's a mystery! Everybody says it's true! It's a mystery! Time to do it then. No. <sighs> Bear back. Let me get a wine glass. <laughs> sugar. Wait, what's sugar glass? There's di there's different types of glass. Oh. I knew that. I I knew that. I knew that. I knew that. I knew there was different types of glass, guys. <laughs> of course I knew that. <laughs> There's not just one type of glass. Because if there was just one type of glass, then, then you know, there, of course there's different types of glass. I knew that. Sugar glass is what they use in movies. Oh, movies! Movie glass. Oh, yeah, the fake glass. There's a video of a guy learning how to do it on YouTube. You can find everything on YouTube. You can find everything there. Naked yoga. Breaking glass. Some guy... <laughs> Some guy... You know, some guy... Pretty sure I saw Razor preparing for that Sanrio pop-up store. Oh hell yeah, pop-up. Physics girl. Oh, physics girl. Moware yoga on YouTube? Uh, not that kind of yoga, but yoga, but yeah, naked yoga. Who remembers Goatsy? <laughs> Guys, Goatsy was never on YouTube, was it? Was it ever on YouTube? Who? <laughs> ah! Please stop. No. Meow. Two girls went. Oh, God. Uh. Bro, we have seen some shit on the internet.
if you guys want to learn more about internet stuff, Justin Wang has so many good videos about the history of the internet. Truly, truly, uh, uh, a, uh, internet connoisseur. He has so many good ones. He did a video on, um... <laughs> the fuck he did a video on the full story of Blowfly Girl? And they did a video on... Uh, other stuff that I, that I shouldn't talk about. You know... He has a- oh my god, look, I'm on his- I'm on his channel right now. Tales from the Internet. Redditor cheats on his wife in VR with sister. What?! Holy shit! Oh, I love this song. Na 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 <laughs> Wait, what is this video that he released? Ma the legend of Je <laughs> of Jesus? Mary Jesus? Ah! What? Wait, what is this? What is this? Do you like strawberry milk? No. A man simply presented a jar every Christmas from the year. <gasps> what? Oh, my God. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, Jesus! Oh, my God! Are you blowing out your cheeks? Oh, yeah, look. Ew, don't sniff her. Trying to sniff my breath? I can't wait for Mousy birthday week so we can force Connor to play my- We're already in my birthday week! Today's the first day of my birthday week! It's Sunday! It's day one! Day one of birthday week. Day one. Na, 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 na. It's like a bit like the 12 days of Christmas. Oh yeah, yesterday, yesterday was, um, yesterday was Three Kings Day. Feliz Dia de los Reyes Magos. Feliz Dia de los Reyes Magos. De los Tres Reyes. In Puerto Rico, you put out some grass and shit for the camels, and supposedly they, they leave you presents.
And supposedly leave your presents. If you put grass, leave some grass out for the damn camels. Put some grass in your shoes and shit. You know? And then they leave you all your presents. Yeah, just for the camels. So they can eat it. What kind of grass are we talking? Well, it's not weed. We eat pan de roscas. Oh, pan de roscas. I don't know what we eat. I don't eat anything. <laughs> it's some sort of bread. With a baby. Oh, wait. Is that the bread with a baby inside? They bake, they bake a bread with a baby inside. <laughs> Everybody's like, huh? Pan, pan de ro, ska, de reyes. You bake this, you bake this bread, okay? You bake this bread, right? And inside the bread, you put a baby in it. Okay? They bake a baby into the bread. And whoever piece has the baby... I don't know what it means. It means something good. A toy, yeah, it's a <laughs> Yeah, they bake a real baby into the bread. <laughs> Hold on, let me let me show you what the baby looks like. <laughs> Look, it's a tiny a tiny little baby. They bake these little babies into this bread. Okay? <laughs> They bake these little tiny babies <laughs> into the bread. <laughs> and then and then you're given a slice of bread and you're like, "Oh shit, there's a baby in there." <laughs> oh shit, there's a baby in there. It's like, "Surprise, baby." Congratulations, you got a baby. All right, sorry. I'm back. <laughs> you can't. You can't eat the baby, guys. You have to find the baby. The bread is like, the bread is like a, uh, it's like a ring. It's cooked in like a ring. It's 
It's cooked in like a ring, like a circle. It looks like a big circle, like a like a ring. And they lay the baby down. Yeah, like a bunt cake. Why is it called a bunt cake? What's a bunt anyway? What's a bunt? Bunt a cake. A bunt a cake. Oh, my mom got me tater tots. Sorry. Buffalo chicken nuggets? Mmm! Oh yeah, potato! So yeah, now you guys know the story about the baby bread. The baby and the bread. Oh, yeah, somebody did make the potato a, a sound alert. I haven't added it yet, though. 